Hello everyone. So in box evolutionary optimization method, basically what we do is we are uh, given a multivariable function, right? We uh, start with a point and we search the neighborhood points at a certain interval, right? We have we are we start with a, with a point and we search along that point, right? We search along that point in a specific interval and see if the neighboring points are giving the minimum value or not, right? So to better understand this method, let us first of all discuss the algorithm, and through that uh, we'll do a numerical example for uh, like to get a better understanding of this method. So the algorithm is that in the first step we have to choose the initial point that is a point from which where we are going to start and the steps in which we are going to define our search method right and uh, of course we will have a terminating criteria involved that is if the value is less than that then we will terminate, ter terminate our iteration right so in the next step we will see if the double mod of that uh, value is less than the minimum value or not right that this double not value of delta will be equal to under root delta 1 square plus delta 2 square right and uh, if the value is less than the minimum value we will terminate the program otherwise we will search the neighboring point in this step of uh, delta by 2 either by adding or subtracting we will move in uh, in the in that step so this means that uh, if if uh, let's say uh, this we have a point x1 comma x2 right we have point x1 comma x2 so what we are going to do is we are uh, and we are allowed to search in the step of delta right delta i let's say so this means that we are going to move in this step of delta i by 2 we are going to move in this step of delta i by 2 likewise we are going to move in this step of delta i by 2 and delta i by 2 right and then we are going to find out the corner points right we are going to find out the corner points okay we are going to find the points right we are going to find out the points and uh, we'll find uh, after finding out the point we will find out the functional value of those points okay after finding out the points we are going to find out the functional value of this point all right and uh, see if the function value which of the function value is giving the minimum value and we'll choose that as our x star right so let's say uh, our point let's say this was a b and c and d right so if our point c is giving the minimum functional value then we will take this as our new initial point and we'll again start our search so you see we are moving through the reference point we are moving in a certain direction right and uh, after this we will see if the if the x bar value that is the initial point that we have searched is equal to the new point that we have searched the x bar the new point that we have searched is the same as that of the initial point that we have searched right that is our we started with a with a new value that is x1 and x2 right this was our x0 after performing these iteration if we see our new point x bar right in this step 3 we are finding out the new point x bar and if you see that our x bar the new point that is is same right that is we are not moving anywhere we are just at the same place then what we will do is this means we have uh, we are in the in the area where the minima of the function will find will be there and will further reduce the uh, steps of moving right up till now we are moving at delta i by 2 right so that is this whole thing is delta right right now what what we will do we will further reduce our search space now we will reduce our search space by delta by 2 so we will reduce our search space by delta by 2 right and again move on, move on to steps 2 and perform the uh, desired iteration right so this is how we perform this this method right so uh, let us do a numerical for better understanding of this optimization technique so uh, we have a question that uh, the function is f x1 x2 
given by the equation x1 square plus x2 minus 11 whole square plus x1 plus x2 square minus 7 whole square right where x1 is greater or equal to 0 and x2 is less than equal to 5 we are already given in the question that x0 the initial value of the starting is 1 comma 1 and the size reduction parameter delta is 2 comma 2 right the minimum value e uh, for termination of, of the attribution is 10 to the power minus 3 so if our double mod delta is less than this value we will terminate our program okay so let us uh, perform the this method of iteration and see how this uh, is conducted all right so let's start with the first iteration right we'll start with the first iteration all right we'll start with the iteration number 1 right we'll start with the iteration number 1 and uh, let's see let me first of all clear all this all right okay so our step 1 says that uh, first of all we have we have to take our initial value we have to find out this uh, we have to decide the steps in which we have to proceed and we have to find out the transmission value so all these things has already been given in the question right so uh, the step 1 has already been covered our x bar will be x naught right this uh, the first value in which we have to proceed is already given in the question so let's start so the step 1 in the step 1 we are already given right we are already given the desired values right so let's write it down so initial point x is 0 initial point initial point we have been already given in the question that is 1 comma 1 it is 1 comma 1 then uh, the size reduction parameter delta i right so the size uh, reduction parameter is 2 comma 2 that has again been given in the question so the delta is given in the question which is equals to 2 comma 2 we are already already given the termination area that is equal to 10 to power minus 3 all right so we have been given the values right we have to set x bar equal to x naught the point that we have selected initially so x bar is equals to x naught so this is equals to 1 comma 1 all right so this is a this was our step one let's move on to step two and step 2 says that uh, uh, basically uh, we have to see if our double no, double mod value is less than the terminating criteria so and this value is delta 1 square plus delta 2 square all right so double mod value is equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 delta 1 will be this one delta 2 is this one so 2 square plus 2 square this is equals to under root 8 which is equals to which is equal to 2.828 this is equal to 2.828 and uh, since this value is greater than the 10 to power minus 3 so we will keep on doing the attrition right we will keep on doing the attrition and uh, for that what we have to do is we have to move in this step of delta by 2 right move in this step of uh, delta by 2 just move this move in this step of uh, delta by 2 in each and find out the points neighboring points right so uh, so the our initial point our initial point is 1 comma 1 right and the step in which we have to proceed is 2 comma 2 right that is delta by 2 in this direction and delta by 2 will become 1 delta by 2 in this direction 
which is equals to 1 delta by 2 in this direction which is again 1 I am not writing delta by 2 again right delta by 2 in this direction which is equals to 1 and through this basically we have to find out the corner points we have to find out the corner points let us say this is point 1 this is point 2 this is point 3 right this is point 3 and this is point 4 okay so uh, we have to find out these points right we have to find out p1 p2 p3 and p4 right so uh, since we, we have to move in the step of 1 comma 1 right we have to move in the step of 1 comma 1 so to find out let us say point p1 right we will we'll first find out the point p1 right so what we will do to move in the x direction so we are moving in this direction and then we will move in this direction right and we know this is positive y this is negative y this is plus x and this is minus x right so if you see from the initial point we are moving in the minus x, x direction right so in the minus right so initial point was 1 comma 1 so we are moving in minus 1 step right so 1 the initial point minus the point in which we have moved right so we are moving towards the 0 1 the initial point the initial point 1 minus this step in which we have moved so this is 1 minus 1 0 now we are moving in the minus y direction right this is your minus y direction in this step of 1 right so this will be equal to 1 minus 1 in the y right so this will again be 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 okay now let us find out p2 all right now we have to find out the p2 value all right let us find out the p2 value all right so p2 uh, for to reach the p2 first of all we will move in this direction and then we will move in this direction right so this is your positive x right this is your positive x right so since this is your positive x so the initial x value was 1 the initial x value was 1 1 in the step of 1 right so in the x direction we have 1 plus 1 that is equals to 2 1 plus 1 that is equals to 2 in the y direction we have we are basically we have to find point 2 p2 so we have again we have to move downward direction we are moving in downward direction so that is equals to 1 of y y axis 1 minus right minus 1 we are moving in this step of 1 right 1 minus 1 this is equals to 0 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 all right so now what i want you to do is pause the video all right and try to find out the point p3 and p4 by yourself okay try to find out the point p3 and p4 by yourself all right first of all find out the video then resume uh, and continue with the video and see if the video if the point that you have found are correct or not all right if you have uh, if, like if the point that you found out was right then it's very good continue with the iterations if they are wrong then uh, try to do it again and see if still you have doubt you can always ask okay in the comment section or, in, or we can discuss right so let's see p3 all right we have to find out p3 right to find out the point p3 what we have to do is now we are moving in this way right so you see uh, point p3 we have to find out right so the initial point was 1 comma 1 right the initial point was 1 comma 1 so we are moving upward that is in the positive y direction and in the positive x direction also right right so p3 will be 1 in this step of 1 that is 1 plus 1 2 comma 2 right so we have point p3 2 comma 2 all right so we have find out the point p3 2 comma 2 right now we have to find p4 p4 right we have to find p4 
So let's find out the point P4. All right, we have to find P4. So P4, uh, we have to first of all move in negative x direction, right? In negative x direction, and then in the positive y direction. So in the negative x direction, since we are moving in the negative x direction, so one minus one that is equal to zero, right? We are moving in the positive y direction, so one plus one equals to two. Right, so our P4 point will be 0, comma 2. All right, and they, let me write it down clearly. Right. So the initial point was 1, comma 1. Right, and uh, we have moved in this step of. We have moved in this step of. In this step of 1, that is delta by 2, right? So if the value of delta 1 and delta 2 would have been different, like it would have been 2 comma 3, so it would have been 1 comma 1.5, depending upon the value, right? In this case, the, since the value was same, so right. So let me just quickly write down the corner points. All right. Let me just make it a bit presentable form. Right. So we have just find out the corner points. All right. Right. So our point P1 was uh, 0, comma 0. Point P2, P2 was 2, comma 0, and uh, P3, P3 is 2, comma 2, and uh, P4 is 0, comma 2. Right. P4 is 0, comma 2. Right. So, uh, we have basically completed our step 2, right? We have find out the corner points by adding and separating at the step of delta by 2, right? We have find out the corner points. Now, what we have to do is, we have to find out the, in these points, the corner points that we have found, right? The corner points that we have found, the function value of the points and see which of these points is giving the minimum function value, okay? Which of these points is giving the minimum function value okay so let's find out the function value so we are in this step 3 right let's starting with here step 3 right step 3 so the points that we have 2 comma 0 0 comma 0 we will also include 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 and 0 comma 2 right so function value of 0 comma 2 function value of Oh, sorry, let me start with 1 comma 1. Right, function value of 0 comma 0, function value of 2 comma 0, function value of 2 comma 2, and uh, function value of 0 comma 2, and we will also find out the function value of 1 comma 1. All right. All right. So if you see f 0 comma 0, right? So f 0 comma 0 that is x1 is 0 x2 is also 0 right so we will put the value in the equation x1 will be 0 x2 will be 0 right so let us put the value that is 0 square right this is 0 square plus 0 minus 11 0 square plus 0 minus 11 whole square plus 0 plus 0 square minus 7 whole square plus 0 plus 0 square minus 7 whole square minus 7 whole square right on solving it the value will come out to be 170 right on solving it the value will come out to be 170 now let's put the values in the f 2 comma 0 so now the x1 value will be let me just rub it x1 is we have we are finding 2 comma 0 so x1 value is 2 x2 is 0 and subsequently we will put the values all right we are going to put the values so your 2 square plus 0 minus 11 whole square plus uh, x1 is 2 now so 2 plus 0 square minus 7 whole square is equals to so on solving it you will see the value comes out to be 74 
4 right then we have f2 comma 2 and f2 comma 2 uh, this is equals to again putting the values we have x1 equal to 2 right 2 square x2 is also equals to 2 so we have 2 minus 11 whole square plus this is again 2 plus 2 square minus 7 whole square so that is equals to 26 putting the values 0 square plus 2 minus 11 whole square plus 0 plus 2 square minus 7 whole square so putting this value we have 90 right likewise if we put the value of f 1 comma 1 right so that will be that will be equals to uh, 1 square plus 1 minus 11 whole square plus 1 plus 1 square minus 7 whole square is equals to so let me just calculate it to 11 this is 81 plus 25 so on solving it you will see the value is 106 right the value is 106 for simplicity let me just write it here the value is 106 all right so which of the uh, which uh, the minimum function value which is 26 we have the minimum function value minimum functional value to be 26 and the point that are giving the minimum value is 2 comma 2 right the point that is giving the value is 2 comma 2 right so basically we have find out the minimum function value and the point that is giving the minimum function value right so what we will do is we will designate the minimum point to be x bar since 2 comma 2 is giving the minimum value we will keep it as x bar okay so what we will do is uh, we will keep x bar we will keep x bar is equals to 2 comma 2 we will give x bar equals to 2 comma this is our new point okay so we have completed our step 3 and we will now we will see if the new point that we have found is this point is same as the old one our old point was 1 comma 1 x0 our x0 was 1 comma 1 right our x0 was 1 comma 1 while the new point is 2 comma 2 right in this step 4 in this step 4 we will we see that our initial point and the new point are not the same right if this point would have been the same then we would have reduced our search interval that the step in which we are moving right so instead of uh, in this type of 2 comma 2 we would have moved to 1 comma 1 but since the here these are not equal so we need not to do that okay so x naught is not equal to x bar right so we need not uh, to reduce our search space right and uh, so what we are going to do we are just going to move to step 2 right we are just going to uh, move to step 2 by taking our new initial point to be x bar right we are going to follow this one right uh, since you see our x bar is not equal to our x naught is not equal to x bar so what we are going to do we are going to put this as a new point and move on to step 2 all right so let's move on to step 2 uh, so basically this marks this completes our iteration number 1 right uh, so we are and move to move to 
step 2 right so we have uh, completed our iteration number 1 and now we are moving to step number 2 right so we are moving to iteration number 2 right we are moving to iteration number 2 right so we are going to proceed with step 2 right we are going to proceed with step 2 and step 2 says we have to again check if our double mod delta value is less than the termination criteria and since uh, right now we have not changed the uh, steps in which we are going to move our search space so we need not to uh, worry about that right our still it this will be 2.828 which is still greater than 10 to power minus 3 and we are again going to move right we again we are going to move right now what we are going to do our new point is 2 comma 2 right our new point is 2 comma 2 right so the new point is 2 comma 2 right now we have to again move in the step of delta by 2 and delta by 2 right we have to move in the step of delta by 2 which in this case is 1 we have to move in delta by 2 which again in this case is 1 delta by 2 1 delta by 2 which is, is again is 1 right so we have to again find out the points p1 p2 p3 and p4 right we have to find out the point p1 p2 p3 and p4 right we have to find out the point p1 p2 p3 and p4 so this is point p1 this is point p2 p3 and p4 okay try by yourself try to find out point uh, p1 p2 p3 p4 okay and see is your answer matching my answer all right so our initial point is 2 comma 2 right so let's find p1 all right let's find p1 so for finding out p1 this is point p1 right so what we are going to do from here first of all we are going to move in the minus x direction so 2 minus 1 which is equals to which is equals to 1 then 2 you are moving in minus y direction right 2 minus 1 which is again 1 right then what we are going to do we are going to find p2 right we are going to find p2 and uh, to finding out uh, point p2 what we are going to move Mo we are moving in the plus x direction right we are moving in the plus x direction so this is 2 plus 1 this is equals to 3 okay then we are moving in downward direction so this is equals to uh, this is minus y direction so 2 minus 1 right 2 minus 1 that is equals to 1 right so this is this is equal to 3 comma 1 all right p3 p3 will be what is the value of p3 p3 is so we have to move in plus x direction so 2 plus is 2 the initial 2 plus 1 3 and uh, in positive y direction so 3 plus 1 again 3 likewise we are moving in negative x direction so this is 2 minus 1 1 and uh, in the po positive y direction so 2 plus 1 3 okay so these are the points in which we are going to move in our search space all right so these are the point in which we are going to move in our search space so we have found out the point so let's move to step 3 right let's move to step 3 and in step 3 we are going to find out the function value so we are going to find out the function value of 1 comma 1 we are going to find out the function value of 3 comma 1 we are going to find out the function value of 3 comma 3 and function value of 1 comma 3 okay we are going to find out the function value of 
these functions right we have already found out the function value of 2 comma 2 which is equal to 26 right so let's find out so 1 comma 1 putting the value x1 equals to 1 and x2 equals to 1 right i am just going to write out the values so try to solve it by yourself it will be 106 it will for 3 comma 1 the value will come out to be 10 for 3 comma 3 value will come out to be 26 and for 1 comma 3 value will come out to be 58 now here i want to like uh, tell you one thing that uh, uh, instead of putting the uh, values over and over again li like every time you uh, like uh, write down 1 square plus 1 minus 7 or minus 11 then whole square plus like for 1 comma 1 you put the whole value in the equation then to 3 comma 1 you put the whole value in the equation instead of doing that this uh, as we see that we will always be keeping the values uh, different values in the same equation so if you are having 991 ms calculator right uh, then what you can do is you can create the equation by yourself right right by clicking like uh, alpha alpha uh, that uh, maroon color button alpha plus a right so and likewise alpha plus b right so what you are going to do you just write down the equation by a in the in these terms and then like uh, alpha a square plus alpha plus a you, you will see it's written a right alpha a square plus alpha plus b you will see in the screen it is written b minus 11 right just close the bracket put whole square then write plus then alpha a you will see a plus b square minus 7 whole square right and after you have pressed uh, then press calc that is calculate all right and you will see it will ask for a value of a and it will you will see it will ask for the value of b right so every time uh, when you want to put uh, you will put one then you will put one right and then you will press equal to or calc so you will get the value as 106 again you will press calc and then will instead of one you will put three and instead of one you will put one right and again press calc you will get the value 10 right then likewise for 3 comma 3 you will get the value 26 58 and 26 okay so what you will see you will uh, this will uh, like make your calculation very easy and faster right <coughs> instead of writing equation over, over and over again try this feature all right try this feature this will much better all right all right so from here you will see the minimum function value is of function 3 comma 1 and in this step 4 we will see if the x bar is equal to our uh, x naught or not right so our x naught in this case was our x naught was 2 comma 2 right 2 comma 2 was our x naught the new value that we had taken and the value that came out was 3 comma 1 right so our x bar that is new value 3 comma 1 is not equal to x naught right it's not equal to x naught that was earlier value right so so what we'll do we'll set setting the current best point x0 equals to 3 comma 1 right so we'll put 3 comma 1 and we'll move on to iteration number 4 right sorry iteration number 3 right we'll move on to iteration number 3 all right so what i want you to do is perform iteration number 3 iteration number 4 and 5 by yourself all right and uh, we'll continue uh, from the next lecture right so in the iteration number 3 you will find out that uh, the uh, parameter uh, the new point and the previous point will remain the same so what the new thing that you have to do is you have to reduce the uh, delta by 2 value right uh, try to do it by yourself if it's not possible then uh, i'll just 
do the attach number 3 and 4 and 5 again ok. So that is it for today try to do it uh, the try to attempt the question by yourself and try to find out the new points at least try to find out the new points that uh, the, that you got and we are going to discuss in the next class ok. That is it for today thank you.